Keita Broadwater, and I'm a co-founder of Oxygen AI. Uh, two types of problems, I'd say. Uh, one is a problem I think every data scientist and engineer faces, which is cleaning data, having good input data for, for our models and for our analyses. Um, sometimes you get down a dead end and you have to retrace your steps. Uh, the other um, challenge is working with a lot of disparate uh, systems and tools. And the project that I spoke about at the conference uh, I had to patch together a lot of different types of tools, having to do with sensors, having to do with messaging uh, systems, having to do with uh, Spark uh, and, and the data, data types within Spark. So um, sometimes piecing them together and configuring them so that you get out what you really want uh, is, a, is a big challenge. Uh, problems with scale. Uh, cleaning data that is huge, cleaning data that is um, in the gigabyte uh, scale uh, can be challenging because sometimes there are, you, there, sometimes there are corner cases. Uh, sometimes when you have problems with data like that, uh, one way to solve it is to not is just ignore the, the, the corner cases. Uh, but there's a desire to get as much data as possible because some of those corner cases could be important. Uh, so it's, to me, it's cleaning data sets that are very large and very diverse. So some issues that may come up when it comes to scale in the next year is we're transitioning a lot of our core technology from solely Python, a Python house, to Scala. Uh, so I think I can anticipate some challenges in making that transition uh, and getting down a good set of procedures to systematically deal with new clients and new customers' problems. Right now, we're so used to Python and doing things in a Pythonic way that um, it's, uh, it's like second nature sometimes. And I can see it. I can see us losing time on some projects just in, in doing that transition. So um, functional programming, how has it helped us? Uh, it's helped us in being able to use some tools more efficiently. So the reason I got into functional programming is to take advantage of Spark. So, um, I think Scala is a very good and efficient way to use uh, Spark. Right now, I'm still transitioning to being full, a full Scala developer and a lot of the projects that I think call for it. And I'm using PySpark as kind of a transition type of a tool for me. But um, I think if I could have everything in Scala, I could have a much cleaner code and a much more efficient, um, much more efficient algorithms. Uh, I went to the one iteration of this conference last year, so I, I like the diversity of speakers. I like to hear what other people are doing. Uh, I like the fact that the projects that people talk about are not marketing presentations, they're hands-on presentations, and they talk about real problems that they have. Sometimes there, there are things that aren't very relevant for me, but sometimes something uh, strikes a nerve, and there's some insight that someone has in a completely different project that could bear some uh, relevance on what I'm doing.